Greetings and welcome to the first Edmin Advanced Training Certification Award Ceremony. I'm Diana Royce, Executive Director of the Nanomedicine Innovation Network, or Edmin, and I'm pleased to be your Master of Ceremonies today. Edmin began its five-year term as a National Networks of Centers of Excellence on April 1st, 2019. The first two years have certainly flown by. The next three will probably pass even faster, and during this time, Edmund participants will be part of a rapid global transformation in health and healthcare driven by advances in nanomedicine research. Canada has a vibrant cross-sectoral nanomedicine R&D community and is a global leader in developing nanotechnology to advance human health. The NC investment in Edmund aims to accelerate Canada's position at the forefront of nanomedicines R&D and aims to exponentially accelerate the delivery of these life-changing smart medicines to people who need them. During Edmund's first two years of operation, it has invested in 32 projects across three research themes and two core facilities, bringing 45 investigators, 97 partners, and 140 trainees into the network. As an NC, one of Edmund's mandate areas is the development of highly qualified personnel, or HQP. I'm known to say that the HQP program of an NC has the potential to be the most immediately transformational aspect of a network's investment strategy, and this is certainly the case for Edmund. Through capacity building programming, Edmund HQP researchers and partners have access to training opportunities across a range of topics, including research, intellectual property creation, commercialization, entrepreneurship and leadership, communication and knowledge mobilization, and genetics, ethical, environmental, economic, legal, and social issues. Through participation in these programs, HQP are developing the employment relevant skills and experiences needed to position themselves advantageously in the talent pipeline that enables the expansion and productivity of the Canadian nanomedicine sector. The Edmund Advanced Training Certification, or ATC, recognizes an individual's engagement in diverse capacity building activities offered by Edmund, its partners, and other recognized organizations, where the learning goes above and beyond the training conventionally provided in an academic program and supports the formation of a well-rounded professional. I'm now pleased to invite Edmund's Associate Scientific Director, Dr. Gilbert Walker, to speak to the Edmund ATC program. Gilbert. Thanks very much, Dr. Royce. As Diana mentioned, the Edmund ATC is a qualification that can be listed on an HQP CV. It provides a competitive advantage by formally recognizing national level network experience, as well as training and experiential learning across a broad range of professional and interpersonal skills. There are currently three levels of NMIN ATC, silver, gold, and platinum. To date, nine HQP have earned NMIN ATC silver, and I'm pleased to invite Dr. Nicholas Bertrand, NMIN's HQP and Program Advisory Committee Chair, to assist me in announcing the recipients. Dr. Bertrand. Thank you, Dr. Walker. Um, so, our first um, ATC recipient is Dr. Kai Grace Choi, a postdoctoral fellow uh, with Dr. Bob Hancock at the University of British Columbia. Um, Grace is also beginning her second term as the NHN Executive Committee President. Congratulations, Grace. Yes, congratulations. Our next ATC recipient is Dr. Nancy Dos Santos a research associate with Dr. Marcel Bali at BC Cancer Agency. Nancy is also the administrative lead of PharmaCore and works closely with the Theme One co-lead to support the research network. Congratulations, Nancy. Next is Dr. Mark Pereira, a research associate with Dr. Shana Kelly at the University of Toronto. Mark is also the Theme three uh, research and KTE accelerator and works closely with the uh, uh, theme three investigators. Congratulations, Mark. Yes, congratulations. Our next recipient is Sam Sadat, a PhD candidate with Dr. Afsana Lavash Fanir at the University of Alberta. Sam's is beginning his second term as the NHN Executive Committee Vice President. Congratulations, Sam's. 
Next is uh, Lisa Silverman, a PhD candidate with uh, Dr. Matthew Moffitt at the University of Victoria. Uh, Lisa was one of the first approved NHN member and is beginning her first term as the NHN Executive Committee Pacific Regional Director. Congratulations, Lisa. Absolutely, congratulations. Our sixth recipient is Wesley Walker, a master's candidate with Dr. Gang Zheng at the University of Toronto. Wesley is beginning his second term as the NHN Executive Committee or Ontario Regional Director. Congratulations, Wesley. Congratulations. Our next recipient is uh, Dr. Dominic Witzigman, previously a postdoctoral fellow uh, with Dr. Peter Collis at the University of British Columbia. Dom was uh, previously the admi administrative lead for the NanoCore and worked closely with all researchers in the network. He has since joined Nanovation, one of Enmin's first spin-off companies, as the Chief Executive Officer. Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, and we'll miss you in the network. Next is uh, Jennifer Zapadas Farfan, a PhD candidate with Dr. Michel Meunier at Polytechnique Montréal. Jennifer is beginning her second term as the NH and Executive Committee Quebec Atlantic Regional Director. Congratulations, Jennifer. Congratulations. And our final recipient is Dr. Lin Hua Zhang, a research associate with Dr. Colin Ross at the University of British Columbia. Lin Hua works on an Enmin funded project that uses lipid nanoparticles to deliver CRISPR based genome editing components to precisely repair disease causing errors in patients' DNA. Congratulations, Lin Hua. Oh, thank you very much. Uh... Dr. Walker and Dr. Bertrand, and congratulations to each of our uh, award recipients today. And uh, we're very pleased to have nine individuals receiving the ATC Silver Award uh, at this ceremony today. Uh, my apologies for not, um, this is Peter Cullis here. Um, the, um, I was supposed to be on at the beginning of this, uh, but unfortunately the link uh, that I was uh, trying to use wasn't working anyway, so I just managed to make it on about two minutes ago, uh, but congratulations to all of the award winners, and um, yeah, that's a, uh, it's, it's something that the Nanomedicines Network is really trying to do, is to uh, bring up the next, or uh, <coughs> Educate is the wrong word, but uh, mentor in any way, anyway, the uh, next generation of people uh, that will be pushing the nanomedicines field forward. It's an incredibly exciting field at the moment, and uh, it's something that uh, you know, I think uh, all of you uh, will, um, a field that we will all benefit from uh, if, you, uh, if you go into this in your career. So thank you.